Hello everyone in the multiverse and beyond. This is your friend forever, Evan LeFevre, with an important video. Today we are going to be discussing the truth about the fact that Jesus Christ is the father of twins. And before he was murdered, he conceived his children with his girlfriend. Okay, and she became pregnant with twins before he was murdered okay and i am going to tell you the full story here today okay about the twins jesus christ son and daughter okay because in case you didn't know jesus christ has a son named son s-u-n and a daughter named pan okay and here is the story about how they came to be all right now like i said jesus christ while he was on this planet had a girlfriend okay and together they conceived their child okay and they didn't know they were going to have twins okay there wasn't any kind of equipment to, you know, do an ultrasound or whatever 2,000 years ago. So they didn't know that they were actually pregnant with twins. Okay. And then, unfortunately, my son Jesus Christ at the age of 33 was murdered by evil people evil people murdered my son jesus christ okay but my illuminati knights were able to take his girlfriend who was pregnant and they were trying to hide the fact that she was pregnant but they were able to take her and they were able to escape to france where she was able to settle down and give birth to the twins and they named the boy pan or the boy's name is son and the girl's name is pan okay but it it wasn't soon it wasn't too far after they were born the twins were born that jesus christ returned to planet earth in a spaceship because in case you didn't know the kingdom of heaven is real science fact in giant spaceships deep in outer space okay so eternal life after death personal paradise out in outer space it's all science fact reality for everyone okay and when jesus christ was murdered on the cross he after that happened he returned to the kingdom of heaven in his spaceship okay where he was with me okay because in case you didn't know i am evan lefevre and i am the biological father of jesus christ okay and in the future I time traveled back 2,000 years into the past and I met Jesus Christ's mother and we conceived our son Jesus Christ together without having sex we used advanced artificial insemination technology that I had aboard my time machine spaceship okay and I will leave a video in the comments section below and in the description bar below detailing how I met Jesus Christ's mother in a time travel incident and what happened to my son Jesus Christ from ages 13 to 30 okay because in case you didn't know my son Jesus Christ left planet earth when he was 13 years old and he came to the kingdom of heaven with me where I was able to finish raising him from ages 13 
to 30. We spent time together. We spent that time together in the kingdom of heaven, in spaceships deep in outer space. And on his 30th birthday, he returned to planet Earth to live out his destiny on planet Earth because <clears throat> Jesus was in love with a woman on planet Earth. And that was one of the main reasons why he wanted to return. Okay. And like I said, he and his girlfriend, this woman that he is in love with, they conceived their, ch their child, their children, their twins together. Okay. So after my son Jesus was murdered on the cross, my Illuminati Knights took her to France where she could be safe and she could have the children there. That is when she discovered she gave birth to twins. And like I said, the boy's name is Sun and the girl's name is Pan. Okay. But in order to protect the family, Jesus Christ and I returned to planet Earth in a spaceship. And we decided to split the twins up while they were still babies. So Sun, the boy, would stay with his mother in France and continue the bloodline of Jesus Christ and I on planet Earth while the girl Pan got to go to the kingdom of heaven with Jesus Christ and I where we were able to raise her in the kingdom of heaven where she got to live as an immortal deity okay she was more than just a regular human being because in the kingdom of heaven <clears throat> you have the ability to live forever because you are in an immortal heavenly body okay and we do this by merging your natural born body with advanced nanotechnology and what happens is this advanced nanotechnology converts your body atom by atom cell by cell into an exact clone of your body made up of nanotechnology so that when it's completed converting your organic natural born body into your immortal heavenly body your entire body will be made of nanotechnology and you will be able to be immortal you'll never die and you no longer need oxygen water or food to survive because your body is powered by the zero point energy flux vacuum field okay so, so that is what, when Pan came to the kingdom of heaven with us, she was able to merge her body with advanced nanotechnology that allowed her a bunch of abilities, including the ability to shapeshift. But I'll get into that later. Because I want to talk a little bit about Sun. Okay, so son, Jesus Christ's son, my grandson, son, he stayed with his mother in France. And he grew up in France and carried on the bloodline of Jesus Christ and I. He carried on the Lefebvre bloodline in France. As a matter of fact, he established the Lefebvre bloodline in France. Okay, so... I used time travel to create my own bloodline, okay, in France, all right, so Jesus Christ, he is his own great-great-grandfather, I am my own great-great-grandfather, it's a strange paradox, okay, but it's true, so son went on to have children of his own, and they had children, and so on and so forth, until my bloodline ended up where it is today. Okay. So. Now. Jesus Christ and I both agreed that we did not want. 
Pan, his daughter Pan, to grow up on this harsh planet because the conditions were really harsh back then. Okay? But we knew that part of the family was destined to stay on planet Earth. So Jesus Christ, he let his wife stay on Earth long enough to raise son. Okay? And then she too left planet Earth and came to help us raise Pan. All right? And now Pan is a really cool individual. Okay? Because she is you know, she's very open about this, but she is a gender. Okay? And if you don't know what a gender means, it means that she doesn't identify with being either a male or a female. So even though she was born a female, she doesn't identify with being female, but she doesn't identify with being male either. So she's almost genderless. Okay, that's what agender means. So, and like I said, she's really open about this, but she's also uh, <clears throat> what you would call bisexual or and this is where the term came from pansexual which means you're attracted to male female and all points in between agender bigender transgender you're attracted to all those different things okay that's what Pan is very proud that she is an a gender pansexual girl okay and <clears throat> that's why and she stands up for sexuality and freedom and she stands for a lot of things okay and <clears throat> She was raised by Jesus Christ and I in the kingdom of heaven. And like I said, she was given the opportunity to merge her body with advanced nanotechnology so that she could shape shift at will. So she could change her body from into a man, into a woman, into, you know, even an animal if she wanted. A half human, half animal, you know. She could do whatever she wants. She's Jesus Christ's daughter. She's my granddaughter. She can do whatever she wants and be whoever she wants to be. Okay? So, now, the cool part is, you see, before I was born a human being on this planet, I decided I came from the kingdom of heaven. And I decided to be born a human being on this planet. In 1983 so that I could come to this planet and not only save the world from extinction but also bring about true freedom in heaven on earth for everyone alive using advanced robotics technology okay and the cool thing is I did not come alone my granddaughter pan is also alive on this planet as we speak Okay, and I'm not going to tell you who she is, but she is a famous musician, okay, right now. The world already knows about her. They already know her name, but they don't know her as Pan, okay. But my granddaughter Pan, she is the influence of, of Peter Pan. Peter Pan was based on her, okay, in the adventures we went on on in the kingdom of heaven and resurrecting people and bringing them to heaven you have to understand the whole concept of Peter Pan and Never Never Land is based on bringing people to heaven okay and showing them the kingdom of heaven and what's possible on all these other planets and 
and all these different worlds and what's really possible. So, um, but the cool part is, like I said, Pan is alive on this planet today. And I'm not going to spoil and reveal who her identity is, but she was born a female on this planet who is currently a musician. All right, a famous musician and a famous star, TV star, musician, you know, but it's cool to know that she's here to help not only save the world, but to, you know, talk about freedom and human rights and, you know, supporting all different genders and all different sexualities and standing up for, you know, and people being able to enjoy their lives and be who they are and be comfortable with who they are. Like she's a real champion in that area. And, you know, so, you know, who is Pan? What does she stand for? You know, she stands for destiny. You know, she stands for hope. She stands for truth and freedom and you know there's nothing wrong with that so it's really disappointing that all these people try to you know read the Bible and try to hate on the LGBT community because the Bible they think the Bible says that it's wrong to be LGBT all right but that couldn't be farther from the truth jesus christ's grandmother is a lesbian jesus christ's daughter is a gender she's pansexual okay she's not a straight cisgendered female okay she is an agendered pansexual female okay individual whatever you want to say all right so and that that matters you know because in the kingdom of heaven we're about love we're about peace we're about respect we're about equality we're b about protecting people's rights to be who they want to be to express themselves how they want to express themselves as long as they're not hurting someone else you know to be able to love how they want to love as long as they're not hurting another individual in the process, as long as there's, it's consensual, you know. So, anyway, now you know a little bit more. I'll make another video at a later date, maybe, rev talking a little bit more about Pan, and I'll make another video talking about Sun, but they are twins, okay? twin children of Jesus Christ the man you know as Jesus Christ my biological son I am his heavenly father I am his biological father and my name is Evan LeFevre and now you know about why I am a proud father even though my son was born thousands of years ago he makes me a very proud father and a very proud grandfather as well because I love son for everything he's given you know he could have been in paradise with his sister and his father and me and his mother but he made the sacrifice to stay in this cruel world just so that he could establish our bloodline on this planet and protect it so that in the future I could be born in 1983 okay so I'm gonna make another video later on talking about my bloodline and how it got from France to North America and ultimately leading up to me okay but that's gonna be another video right now this is about Sun and Pan the twin children of Jesus Christ Okay?
and I'm making this video in honor of Father's Day, okay, so that you can know that the man you know is Jesus Christ, he is a father of twins, all right, and now you know a little bit more about those twins, okay, you know about son, you know about pan, all right, and like I said, I will make videos on both of them in more detail in the future. Okay? But now you know the truth. So thank you. Thank you very much. Like I said, there are many, many adventures that Jesus Christ, Pan, and I have gone on throughout history. Time traveling going to alternate dimensions, parallel realities, saving people all throughout time and history and abducting them and bringing them to the kingdom of heaven in the future, and going to all these different planets and saving different planets. And, I mean, we've been on tons of adventures together, all right? And I didn't get to have that relationship with Sun, but I did have that relationship with Pan, so... Her and I are really close. She's really close to her grandfather. Alright. And I support her in everything she does. And I support my son in everything he does. My son Jesus Christ. And I support my grandson's son in everything he does. Okay. Because I'm proud of all three of them. Alright. So. This is your friend forever. Evan LeFaber. If you want check out some of my other videos for more on this subject and if you're new don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next video until then bye bye